Hello, hello everybody. So happy that you're here. I am doing some testing and I'm actually about to go live on Amazon Live for the very first time. So this is going to be a messy live stream on your end, but you know what? This is just a bunch of testing that I'm doing, getting adjusted before I go live on Amazon. I'm trying to get my lighting right. Whoa, I'm going to knock over all kinds of cameras. So if you want to see this, you can go to uh, amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash crystal profit. That's what I'm going to do. Amazon.com. I've been singing a lot today and I know I need to stop, but I just can't. Y'all, I have way too many banners on here. It doesn't even want to show. So that's where you can go to see everything that I'm doing, but I'm going to go live and we're going to see how this works. I'm actually cleaning off my, my phone. Oh, there we go. That looks much better. I look kind of blown out. Let me shut this. Oh, so much better. So, so much better. Okay. So let's do this. Let's see how this works. This is going to be fun. Hello and welcome everybody. This is Crystal Profit and this is my very first Amazon Live. I wanted to go live to see how exactly this was going to work. We are going to be talking about podcast equipment. So if you are in the market for some podcast equipment, then this is going to be a fun live stream. I'm doing a test to see, um, you know, just what everybody's questions are about podcast equipment, beginner podcast equipment. If you have questions about dynamic versus condenser microphones, XLR cables versus USB, like all the things, please tell me in the chat. Tell me in the comments if you have any questions because I would love to answer them. As someone that has been in the podcasting space for a while, I got a lot of equipment. <laughs> I actually have, this is my, my goodie bag. It's like my grab bag of podcast equipment and y'all there's there's a lot of stuff in here there's there's a little too much stuff in here and I have them linked below so if you're watching on Amazon I'm also streaming to my YouTube channel but if you're watching on Amazon then you will see there are links there's uh several links below this live stream where I have linked to my favorite beginner podcasting equipment from XLR, like I said, to USB mics, to my handheld microphones. There is a lot, there's a lot. I have actually uh, three different shopping lists on my Amazon page, on my storefront, where you can see best equipment for beginner podcasters, best for advanced podcasters, and then actually my video equipment setup. So I actually wanna start with something I had to grab off my shelf. This is my book. Y'all, this is available on Amazon. You should go check it out. It is Start a Binge Worthy Podcast. You can get the Audible version, the, the Kindle version, you can get the print version, but this is available and it is for all of the different types of podcasters. Oh look, so I, I clicked on it. I don't know what it does, but I clicked on it on the Amazon stream, so you should be able to see it. But if you're looking to get into podcasting, you can see it's not a huge book. It's something that's very doable. The print isn't tiny, but it is absolutely a great place to get started if you want to start a podcast. So go check that out. Highly, highly recommend it. Ooh, let's look at all the goodies we have. Hang on, I do have my afternoon coffee that I gotta take a sip of. <laughs> This is not on Amazon. I don't know where. This was a gift that I got. Mm. But, all right. This is my Tascam recorder, but this case is not Tascam. So it's case link. So you can see what it is. There we go. So this I love so much because I've used my handheld Tascam recorder whenever I travel. I will take it with me and I will show you what it is. Ooh, this is exciting. This is like an unboxing. So what I love about this case, it has extra batteries. Like I can just easily store extra batteries in here and that makes it like super easy. And this is so small. You can tell like this, this is my hand size. Here it is. I don't have huge hands, but you can go and just put this in a backpack. It could fit in a purse. Ladies, if you have a purse, you have a bag, you just want to throw it in. 
I love that I can travel with this, but this is my task cam recorder. So you can see this is the case when it's empty, but this thing has saved me on many occasions, <laughs> many, many, many occasions. So you will see it below. Let me see. I know I, I know I added it. So let me link to my task cam recorder. I've had this going on two years, maybe. Let me see, I gotta find exactly where this is on Amazon, cause I know I linked to this bad boy. I love it so much, there we go. So what I've linked to is a, it's a Tascam DR40X, and you can go check it out. And what is really cool about this is it has these internal microphones right here on the top that you can twist out. I actually recorded, the first time I used this was at a conference with like, I think there were 800 people at this conference. And what I ended up doing was I stood right next to the person I was interviewing, just like this. And I mean, there was several hundred people behind us. And I just said, hey, we're just gonna test this out and see if this works. And it was really cool. It was really cool. The, the audio wasn't fantastic because there was so much background noise and all the things that were going on but it also was a different experience because you know people had never you know i wouldn't have had an opportunity to record that specific conversation and i think it just gave for a different feel um but the cool thing about it this is what i really wanted to point out is down here on the bottom you can see that there are xlr cable hookups so right here oh if i can get it if I can get it to zoom right, right? It's always the trick. Can I get it to work? Is it gonna focus? No, it's not gonna focus. But on the bottom, you can see the XLR cables. So this is what I do. This is what I do. I have two of these. And what I will do now, since I know, if I'm just recording by myself, I will flip these back in and I can just sit here and record it. The pop filter, that it, it has an internal pop filter and it works great except I have a lot of peas. Like I say, like all the time. And so it's just, it doesn't, I just, I have so many plosives. Uh, my, my last name is Profit. I have the Profit Podcast. There's, and I talk about podcasting. Like there's a lot of plosives. So you can get a cover for this or a pop filter. I don't have that linked here because I don't actually use that. And I don't really recommend, uh, or I don't record with just this uh, anymore because I will get an XLR microphone. So this one is a Behringer mic. Y'all, this is what happens. I don't even know if that's for my cat. What is that? What is that? This is what you get. If you're just now joining us, we're going through my grab bag of podcast equipment. So um, this is a Behringer dynamic microphone and it just has, I hate taking these off because I can't, I can never get it back on but it's the XM 8500. So that's what this mic is. That's what this one is. Oh, I can't ever get it to zoom. There we go. So this is the XM 8500. So what I did is when you purchase these, they don't automatically come with an XLR cable. So do you see the difference? Like this is an XLR cable. And then what you typically have, I don't even have one up here. I have one over there, but I'm gonna have to rip it out of the wall. You know what a USB cable looks like, right? We all have phones. We all use USB cables for our phones. And that is what, or not our phones. You know what I'm saying? Like you plug that into the wall for your computer. This is, this. I don't know what I'm talking about, but you know, you know, like we're, we're on the same page here, right? Okay, so XLR versus USB. I get this question a lot. What do you think I should use? How, like, which one is one better? I will say that the microphones that use an XLR cable tend to be created for better sound, but the issue that you run into is whenever it's a dynamic microphone, which is what I have here, if you can see, and we're gonna get to this one. We're gonna get to the microphone I use on a regular basis for recording my podcast, but for now, I've used this multiple times to record, and it tends to be a little bit quieter than a condenser mic. So I also have a condenser microphone that uh, it picks up all the noises. It's what you often see singers and other people that are like, they want to pick up all the noises, the nuances of sound. I don't want that when I'm podcasting. Like where I'm recording right now, 
I'm in my office, there's tiles, there's glass doors here, there's windows that don't have drapes, like there's a lot of echo in this room. And so with a dynamic mic, I can not have to worry about my echo as much and I could just record and it sounds good. So what I will do is I will put, and I don't wanna do this live on camera. Oh, let's see, because I ripped my other one. <laughs> I was trying to put the pop filter, but I have these linked below. If you're watching on Amazon, I have, I got like a four pack of these. Uh, you can get different colors. There's red ones, there's green ones, there's blue ones. Uh, I just got the plain black ones. And then, uh, especially in the time of, you know, everybody being more health conscious of like, ooh, who touched what and is that sanitary? I like that these are really easy to purchase and you could change them out if you're gonna have an in-person guest. Like I said, if you're going to an event and a, and a conference, these are fantastic to have. But here's what you would do. I have this cable which was purchased separately. This is just the Amazon Basics XLR cable. And you plug it in to, uh, to your microphone. And then I plug my XLR right into the bottom of this. And voila, it's ready to go. So I have a whole tutorial on how you would use this. Uh, not linked here on Amazon, but it's on my YouTube channel. If you wanna see exactly how the task cam works and all the buttons, but since I have my whole grab bag that I wanna go through, um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do a full demonstration. I just wanna tell you, this thing is awesome if you're on the road, if you're traveling, if you are recording more than one person. Uh, I know that there's other options out there for recording. Um, a Zoom H6 is another option because it could have multiple channels. Like you could plug in, I think like four or five XLR microphones. I typically do me and one other person. I'm not recording a whole bunch of people. If I am, I'm using a totally different software anyway. So these are the first two things. So the Tascam recorder, as well as a little case that it has. And then I'm just gonna put this up. Because otherwise, I will lose things. Okay, so this is another thing. So this Behringer microphone, I could also use with my Scarlett 2i2. So if you're watching on Amazon, then you will see what I have linked. If you're watching anywhere else, I would love for you to come join us on Amazon. The link is on the screen. It's amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash crystal profit. Come join us. We're having a lot of fun over here and we're in the chat. So hi CK, I see you. Hi Annette, y'all make sure that you go and hit the follow button so you get notified Anytime that I do one of these live streams, this is my first one. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, so two XLR cables uh, for the bottom of the task, task cam is awesome because then I can plug, plug them in. I can sit far enough away. My husband and I, we actually, we were on spring break uh, 2020. We were in Oklahoma and we were in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we were, it was like, there was no Wi-Fi, nothing like that. And I was worried about that because I knew I needed to record a podcast. And so what we did is we used my Tascam recorder, plugged in the microphones, and we just sat across each other and we held them and we were able to record the podcast that way. But what I wanna tell you next is whenever you have a microphone like this, whether it's handheld or you have it on a stand, but you have an XLR cable, you cannot plug this into your computer, right? You gotta have something to be the interface in between the XLR cable and your computer, which is why I have linked below to the Scarlett Solo or a Scarlett 2i2. And what this is, is I would plug this into the Scarlett, the Focusrite, and then I would plug that little box into my computer. It's so beautiful, it's so easy, and I believe that it just makes everything sound amazing. It makes it sound so much better. So the Scarlett 2i2 or the Scarlett Solo is linked below, but this is XLR cables and my microphone. Ooh, here's a good one. We no longer, unfortunately, have access to this particular brand on Amazon. I don't know if they went out of business, but uh, it's called Dragon Pad. But I do love a good pop filter. I had this, and let me see if you can see it. You can't actually see it on my phone. I'm gonna have to move for a second. Do you see this little, this little USB <laughs> microphone that's on the shelf behind me? 
That was my very first podcast microphone. It's the Five Fine USB plug and play microphone, and there's no pop filter on it. I had to create um, or I had to use this as my pop filter. That microphone in particular is linked below. Let me find it, y'all. It's still twenty two dollars. So if you're in the U.S. and you're looking for a podcast mic, that is literally the podcast or the microphone I got started with. Oh, it's twenty one ninety nine. So I'm just saying, this is what I started with. It is like, it is a, there's a shrine up there to my very first podcast microphone that I got started with. I love it still. I've used it on occasion whenever I've gotten in a bind and I needed uh, just a, a piece of equipment to take with me. That one's super portable too. If you end up traveling a lot or you need to have something that's flexible. Um, but I did need this. I had to use this, which is, it's so funny, y'all. That thing is so tiny that it would um, it would fall over almost all the time. Anytime I attached anything to it, I'd put this on there and I'd have to like, okay, uh, is, is it going to fall over? Because this thing almost weighs more than that microphone, but it was great. Fantastic pop filter. I recommend one, especially for those of you that have the plosives and you have to worry about crystal, profit, podcasting. It's, yeah, I know. It's terrible. It's terrible. Ooh, let's see what else is in the grab bag. This is fun. I feel like a show host. This, I don't even know that we can get these on Amazon, so I'm going to set that one aside. Maybe maybe I'll do some research and see uh, if those are sold on Amazon. This is what the Behringer microphone looks like when it doesn't have the USB cable, but it does come in these little boxes. Do y'all see how this is ripped? I told y'all. I told y'all I have issues with ripping the foam pads. But then what I told myself is, oh, now I know that it's mine because I can like put my thumb <laughs> right there. I'm like, oh, look, I can just put my thumb right there. And then, hey, you know, there. But this one doesn't even have a cable on it. Okay. Um, this is a good one. So this is a good foam top. This could be another pop filter. This is specifically for the Blue Yeti. I don't have my Blue Yeti in the office with me. I forgot to grab it. It is in my bedroom because my husband has a desk set up in our bedroom. I'm going to link to the Blue Yeti. But um, yeah, I have used this one. And then this is another one. This is for another piece of road equipment. Y'all, I'm just telling you, I got, I got so many things. This is why this is my grab bag. Um, Let's see, this is another, so this is for the Blue Yeti as well. So if you're watching on Amazon, amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash crystal profit, then you'll see where I linked the Blue Yeti, but you can get these little foam covers specifically just for a Blue Yeti microphone. A Blue Yeti is a dynamic mic. It's a dynamic USB mic, so you wouldn't need the mixer that I was just talking about, but it is going to pick up a lot more sound. So I recommend having one of these or one of these. I've seen a lot of people that like these, a lot of women in podcasting that really like to have these on top of their Blue Yeti. I don't know why. I feel like it's kind of bougie. And I'm like, I'm not really a bougie fur person. So I don't know. Maybe it could work for some people. I, it's, it's not my cup of tea. Okay, this one. Okay, so I'm going to tell you about my road. I'm a big fan of road mics. Oh, thank you so much, CK. I see you. You're doing great. Love it. What is that? It looks interesting. Yes. So the blue that was the Blue Yeti cover, and um, it's specifically for the Blue Yeti. I don't know that it comes. It doesn't come with the Yeti. I remember I had to purchase this separately, but um, you can get it, and then you can adjust it. So if you put it on there, that's what this is. You could see a little, oh, if I can get it to focus. Y'all can never get things to focus. So it has this little pull tag right here. Y'all, this is my first Amazon Live. I'll have a better setup next time because now I kind of know what I'm doing. <laughs> but that's what these are. These are for the Blue Yeti. And I will bring the Blue Yeti in here because I don't have it. Yeah, it's in the other room. But what I want to talk about is Rode. So Rode the Procaster is what I have right here. So um, I'm linking to the Rode PSA-1, which is the uh, the boom arm that I have, and I've used it in the past, and it's really awesome, especially if you are gonna have a Blue Yeti, because the Blue, or the, the Rode PSA-1 
works well with the Yeti because it's heavy. The Yeti is a heavy microphone, a lot heavier than what I have now. I have the Rode Procaster, which is what this little travel case is for. And it's funny because, you know, they, they have the travel case, but I'm like, once it's mounted, it's not going anywhere. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's people that are like, legit legit like on the road traveling putting putting their microphone in a case but I, I don't do that I don't know so it comes with all the equipment for you to set it up for you to add it to whatever boom arm you're using let me see what other fun things I love road you guys it's it's so fantastic but uh, this one has the pop cover the pop cover pop filter on it but this is what it looks like when it doesn't have this on it but it's what I'm using as my podcast microphone currently and it's what I use to stream all of my live streams so because I'm on Amazon live on my phone I'm actually um, not using the sound so the sound is coming through my airpods <laughs> I'm gonna figure out I tried to go live on Streamyard, and I couldn't I couldn't quite get it to work but that's okay it was my first one I'm gonna I have friends that are in this space they're gonna tell me all the things I did wrong and show me what I should do next time but I, I don't shy away from making mistakes and trying something new because it's just you know it's more fun this way right it's more entertaining to watch someone messing up in real time <laughs> it's a lot more entertaining mm. CK says Oh, nice. I didn't realize Blue Yeti had a specific cover. Yes. And I have my Rode USB or mini USB for travel and I love it. Okay. So I've heard amazing things about the Rode USB mini for travel. Uh, it's super cute. I love all these mini like USB microphones because they travel well. They fit in a laptop backpack, a laptop case super, super well. Um, so I love hearing that. I love hearing that. I actually have... Um, a Rode Video Me. I don't have all of my video equipment linked here today, but if you go to my storefront, go to amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash crystal profit, you will see I have a list there. It's like a shopping list, a wish list for beginner podcasters, more advanced podcasters, and video equipment. And I need to add on there the Rode Video Me microphone. It's what I need to use to plug into my phone. But again, I just was like, hey, let's just do this. Let's figure this out. Yeah, Annette J says, Amazon Live looks so fun to do. I know. I feel like this is, we're on the home shopping network now. We're on the, the Profit Media shopping network. This is so much fun. Okay, so now let's get into this. So for those of y'all watching where I am using this mic, I apologize because it's going to be moved around a lot. But this is the Rode Procaster. This is exactly what I was just showing you. And then it has this Rode shock mount. Hang on, I have to look up the exact one. Yeah, so it's the, the shock mount for this. All of this is Rode right here. So the Rode microphone, y'all, who knew? Let's just talk about something real fast. Can someone send me some Swiffer Duster pads because this thing is super dusty. <laughs> I, don't think I don't ever look at my microphone this way. And I normally don't look at it like from the top. This thing is dusty and it needs to be cleaned. Ooh, I think I have some of those. You know those like Swiffer things where you just like put it on there and you dust? Okay, I'm going to go get one after this because this, this is a little embarrassing. It's a little embarrassing. Anyway, okay. So this is the Rode Procaster. I'm worried that if I take this off, it's going to make a bunch of noise. So, oh, okay. This is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure this came with the microphone. And if you're watching where I'm using this, you probably hear a difference um, because this does cut out a lot of the other noises. I'm gonna put it back on. So this is awesome. This is the Rode shock mount. When it comes to intermingling different products, I like to stay in the same line. Like let's just keep it all in the family. I love Rode. I have their, like I said, the video mic for my camera or my phone. I have the shock mount. I have the Rode Procaster. And then I also, let me push this back out of the way before, it, before somebody gets hurt because I need to dust the thing. I also have the Rode microphone for my camera. So I have a Sony 
ZV1. I was going to say Z71. There's too many letters and numbers to keep up with, but you, you know what I'm saying. So if you go to my video equipment list, I have my Sony camera linked. I need to put the Rode microphone on there as well. But you know what? I'm just, we're learning. We're all, we're, it's like a lunch and learn, right? Even though it's, it's almost two o'clock where I am. But you get what I'm saying. Like we're, we're learning together. So if you'll have any questions about equipment, let me know. I still have, um, these are the other things. This is on my video equipment. I don't have it linked today because we were just going to talk about podcasting, but I did put it out here in front of me. Since I'm doing a live stream, these don't have a microphone built into them, which is why I don't have them on now. But my good friend Melanie told me about these. So they're headphones that are clear and they wrap around behind your ear. I will wear these next time and show you. But what I love about these, and like I said, they're not linked below, but they are awesome. And the brand is me, M-E-E, -E, and they're awesome because they go around. I do lots of video. I do live stream. I do podcast interviews, and I don't like to have my AirPods in because you can see them. But if I take one of these out here, I'm just going to show you. If I mess up my audio, I apologize. I'm just going to whisper for a second in case I mess them up. But this is what it will look like. So... Put it in here it runs backwards and then I would throw those I would have the other one in obviously but I would throw it behind my back because then it would run underneath my desk to my computer um, you could run it in front of you if you want but I usually have my hair down when I do interviews and then look you can't even see it do you see a difference even if you can't see it it kind of blends in compared to this so I just like the look of this because I will often use my podcast interviews for um, repurposing it in different places like YouTube or wherever. So I like the idea of being able to repurpose it. And these headphones are incredible. I do have an extender. Let me put this back in. Hopefully y'all can still hear me without uh, making lots of noise. I purchased or uh, my friend Mel who sent these to me shout out Mel you're awesome she sent me this extender cable because this one alone is pretty short so it's an Amazon basics it's extender cable that is for headphones very important very important for headphones so I plug this jack into my um, into my computer so that's it. Does anybody have any other questions? Y'all let me know what podcasting questions you have. I never in my life thought I'd be doing stuff about doing a live stream about, about podcasting equipment. If for those of you that know me, y'all know I am not the gear gal and the gear person, but also I've made many purchases <laughs> for podcast equipment over the last few years as I've been doing this. And I'm just a believer in upgrading as you go, right? Like do something and then upgrade and then, you know, try something out, test something out and then upgrade later. Um, if you've missed it or if you hopped on later, uh, I would love for you to go check out my book. It's Start a Binge Worthy Podcast. I'm actually trying to, to link to it if you're watching because then you'll be able to click on that image there. But Start a Binge Worthy Podcast is a great place to get started if you are wanting to start a podcast soon and you not just want to create content that is okay, you want to create content that is going to be binge worthy, meaning it is going to be a fantastic piece of content that your audience shares, they get excited about, and they are excited to come back every single week to listen to your show. So go check out Start a Binge Worthy Podcast. Let me see. Oh, okay. So that's the Me M6. That's the name of the headphones. Thank you so much, CK, for saving me there. <laughs> they come in clear and black. Recommend getting an extender so you can keep it running behind you out of the shot. 100%. I Like I said, I will usually have, I'll put in the headphones, run them behind me, and then they just go straight under my desk. But if you have a situation where you have to run it in front of you and put it, then it's, it's yeah, it's totally, totally good. Let me see. 
my favorite video. This is the best Amazon live. Well, thank you so much. I totally appreciate that. That this is my very first Amazon live. <laughs> so I love, love the feedback. Yeah. So CK says, sweet. Gonna get that book. Oh, I so appreciate it. Yeah. Y'all go check out start a binge worthy podcast. Uh, this is it's, I think it's, I can't even remember the pricing of it. It's like less than $20 for every little tier. We have the audiobook, we have the ebook, we have a paperback copy that you can grab. I would love for you to go check it out. And if you've already read the book, I'd love for you to leave a review. Oh, I'm, I'm into technology and broadcasting and I always see this. I will definitely follow. Well, thank y'all so much. Y'all, this was a lot of fun. Um, I'm actually going to sign off here in a second, but um, let me know what else you want to see. I kind of like the little grab bag in here. I have other things that I could put in the grab bag <laughs> we could talk about next time. I have podcast equipment. I have video equipment. I have so many things that I have purchased related to podcasting that I probably shouldn't have bought. But you know what I did? And I upgraded it. And, you know, things just kind of happen over time. And this was a lot of fun. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, you have the same microphone as me. Yes, so I don't know if, if it's this one. Okay, the Rode. Yes, the Rode Procaster. I've linked to a lot of other amazing, lazy, amazing, amazing lazing. You know what I'm trying to say. I've got, to, I've got to sign off so I can go drink the rest of my afternoon coffee and start making sense. But I want you to go check out, go to Crystal crystalprofit.com. Listen to me. I'm telling you the wrong thing. Go to amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash crystal profit. You're going to see my storefront. There is, there are three different lists there. I'm saying four, there's three. And the first one is for beginner podcasters. The next one is for more advanced podcasters. And then I have one for video equipment. But now that we've talked about all these things, I'm like, oh, I need to add that. I need to, there's like four other things that I need to go back and add. So I will absolutely go and do that. Uh, I love the grab bag idea. It's like a magician pulling stuff out of the hat. I know, I kind of like it too. I feel like I feel like this is kind of a boring grab bag though. This, this is literally what I have this in. I have a big, uh, like a bookshelf over here. <laughs> Just It's how I keep it organized. So I go and like grab it and... Yeah, so maybe maybe I'll get an even more uh, a fun a fun grab bag. I have twenty microphones, same all this on Amazon. Yeah, I mean it's just when people recommend stuff to me when it comes to microphones, I just like ooh ooh maybe I should try that out. Maybe maybe I should test it. I've I've stopped. I don't purchase as many on a regular basis, but now I'm getting into video equipment. <laughs> Yeah, so podcasting, like I'm all set. I'm set on podcasting. And now I want to just start looking at video stuff. I need to get like light boxes and all the other like tripods. There's so many different things that are like, I'm going to create my wish list for Santa Claus to bring me all the things <laughs> for. Because I feel like last year I was like, can I get all the podcasting equipment? This year I, I definitely uh, need all the video stuff. So, okay, let me see. Blessings, everyone. Congrats on your first live. Thank you, Annette. This was a lot of fun. Thank you for being here. Yes, this is so fun. Oh, yes. Maybe if you if I give you my email, I can email you. Yes, 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 yes. Definitely. Definitely reach out. I'd love to come on your show and talk about this. This is a lot of fun. It's a slippery slope when you go to video. Been there, done that. CK, don't tell me that, okay? Don't tell me. I went from when it comes to doing YouTube and everything, I had a... Logitech, oh, see, this is where I need to get all my, my models correctly. C920, is that what it is? My friend Melanie would be so ashamed of me right now. She needs me. She knows all the things, so uh, y'all definitely go. I can't wait till she comes on Amazon Live. We'll have to do like a, a stream together where, yeah. So CK, thank you so much for saving me here. CK and Melanie and I all kind of run around in the same crew. So the Logitech. C920, I'll link to it in my video playlist. That's what I started with, y'all. I started with a basic webcam. I started with, I don't even know that I had a, a podcast microphone. I guess I would have had my Blue Yeti when I first started with video. And then I used, started using my iPhone and then I started using my setup that you see today. So if you want to, um, if you're on Amazon, you'll see I just clicked on my Rode Procaster 
And this is the microphone that I've been using for more than a year now, and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It comes out so crisp, so clear. If you're watching on Amazon right now, I'm just using my AirPods for my mic because I was having some issues getting connected to my live stream and stream yard and all those things but i'm gonna figure this out y'all this is just my very first amazon live and it was a lot of fun but uh i think that it's really important whenever you're picking your podcast equipment to ask yourself is my environment ready for podcasting i used and you can see it i told y'all earlier it's on my bookshelf this microphone right here or this one right here, depending on which which area you're watching me from, this thing was $20 and it's what I got started with. I used the, the pop filter. This is literally what I used. And I would take that into my closet. If it sounded really echoey in here, y'all, I didn't want to tell y'all. I don't even want to tell you about the... Um, my standing desk. Oh, I need to tell you. I need to tell you anyway. You can, Maybe you can find this on Amazon. I don't know. But um, I use a Minecraft party head box. <laughs> don't know those creepers? If you have kids, I'm sure you know Minecraft. But those mine head creeper head boxes, literally it's what I use. Because it's all I had when I first got started. I have a picture of it. It's hilarious. But I used my desk. I put a creeper head box on top and I put that microphone, this Fifine USB plug and play microphone, I put it right on top of that and that is how I got started podcasting. You don't have to be fancy. You don't have to have the most expensive equipment, but you do have to know what type of environment you're gonna be recording in. It does, it makes all the difference. So. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. This was a lot of fun. I'm going to sign off. If you have any questions, please reach out. I would love to hear from you. Thank you all for being here live. Thank you for saying all the nice things and participating. It's always a lot more fun when we participate. Make sure you go to amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash crystal profit to check out my storefront and all the equipment that I recommend for podcasters and people that are beginning with live streaming and YouTube. Definitely go check those out and I will see y'all later. Bye. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me.